Hey guys, and welcome to the beginning of our small council stream with me, of course, NG Paradox. I have awoken, the dragon is awake, and so we have begun another stream, continuing our story as the Tarth family. So we got Lord Selwyn, the Evenstar Tarth. Uh, a lot of people in the chat. <laughs> there we go, Dial Lawn. Hi, YouTube. A lot of people in the chat have been asking me what is our goal for this series. And really the goal is whatever the small council thinks. Obviously for me, I'm just trying to play a game, you know, gain more power, survive, get the tasks to thrive. But obviously the small council will affect what we go for and how we go for things. Will we be a loyal vassal to the Baratheons or will we strive for power? The council could very much affect that. World Conquest apparently Crazy CEO wants us to go for. Could be a little bit difficult. Uh, if you did not watch the last stream... We have a lot of NG the Promise Breaker. If you did if you did watch the or didn't watch the last stream, you'll know there's you would not know there's a lot of things have gone on. Obviously, Selwyn Tarth has married uh, the bastard daughter of Robert Baratheon, and his only child, Maisha Waters, in a betrothal. Uh, Brienne of Tarth has had a baby who has got the flu. Justin Tarth with uh, Sander Clegane, of course. Interesting marriage that one. I love that marriage. Um, I got three more hours until Kingdom Kong downloads. Okay. Then we've got Galadin Tarth marrying off to the Aaron girl. So we're getting some good marriages there, I think. You know, some good natural traits, some interesting characters. And, of course, some good alliances, possibly, with the Aarons. But what do we do about the Baratheons? The Baratheons have been interesting so far. You know, Robert Baratheon getting assassinated, which was very unusual. He wasn't even married to Cersei. So, <laughs> uh, that was interesting. And then Stannis became king. And he has quite a few kings of, of quite a few kids with his Lannister still wife. So, will he be a good king? How long will he survive? Do we like him? I feel like we wouldn't like Stannis as much. Uh, we probably prefer Renly. That, that's how I feel with uh, Mr. Tarth. I feel like he prefers Renly a little bit more than Stannis. But that's just my opinion. Oh... And the Reach is rebelling against Garland Tarth. What have you been doing, sir? Trying to revoke clans, have you? They've all risen up in rebellion. Um, they are trying to put Viserys on the Iron Throne. So that's where we left it off last time. They were trying to put Viserys on the Iron Throne. That was Driftmark. But Stannis is winning 64%. Viserys is like the last hope for the Targaryens. Oh, no. What are you doing, Driftmark? Why are you in charge of these rebellions? It's just going to lead into sadness because you have no power. How are they doing at the moment now? 64% still. Ah, Those stupid, stupid Valerians. What are they doing? Because if I remember correctly, he is like the last. Yep, he's in jail. Lord Stevron of the Crossing. So actually the phrase, have Viserys Targaryen captured... His wife is not pregnant. That could be the last Targaryen to ever live. Stevron Frey. Is he not going to give him to his higher lord, though? Is he not going to give him to the, the Riverlands or to the king? Looks like the Freys are keeping him to themselves, maybe. Those sneaky, sneaky Freys. Of course they are. Go look in her court. He's not actually in the court, though. Okay. We can go back, though. There we go. He should be in a court. I guess he's in jail. He's in his court. Uh, Death to the dragons, apparently, says Captain Weeb. I bet John Connington was in on it. Trip, Trip thinks that John Connington killed uh, Robert Baratheon, possibly. Loras Tyrell joined the Driftmark War for Viserys' claim. Interesting. So, okay, Loras Tyrell is now put as the Lord of the Reach. So his brother lost. His brother's been put in jail for his tyranny. And Lovis Tyrell is now the current ruler. Army Charmaine. Small council be damned. A man does not care about what they vote. A man does what a man does. Thank you so much, Captain Weeb, for your donation. I really appreciate it. You are the best. I always see you here every time. Well, almost every time, I think. So thank you so much for your support. I always recognize a lot of familiar names in the chat, always. But now we've got Lovis Tyrell joining against Robert. And what is this? Are we joining as well? Is the tide about to turn? So we can see here. Nope, we've joined on the side of Stannis. Ah, okay. 
Okay, Army Charmaine. A man will do what a man does. But here we go. So it looks like Loras Tyrell has joined, just like his brothers, against the Baratheons. But Renly, uh, Renly has seen this, and he's gone against Loras Tyrell. Who would have thought in this alternative history, Renly versus Loras? What a sad, sad day. I mean, neither of them are homosexuals in this alternative history, it looks like, but still. Uh, Barak, thank you so much for following. But he's now joined the side of Stannis. Stannis is going to win. There's probably quite a smart move there by Renly. I hope I invite you to attend the tourney. Maybe we could attend a tourney. Nah, this is a... Uh... You know, actually, let's go. Let's go to the tourney. My children can show off what they've got, you know? While the war's raging on, we're just going to go to a nice little tourney. Uh, hello, NG. Join the dragons. I promise it's good for you. Well, right now we're with Renly. We're 69%. It's not looking good for Viserys. I have how many men? 6,000 men. That's actually a good amount of men. Actually, don't. Selwyn likes living. <laughs> Thank you, Trip. The first day's jousting in Lord Alex Tawny is complete, with many lesser riders having already been eliminated from the competition. Let's see. Are my children here? Sander Clegane is at the tournament. Galadin Tarth. Uh, Mirin Trant is at the tournament. Who else is there? Ah, oh, Brienne has not joined the tournament. Retro Ninja, thank you so much for following. Now, Brienne has not joined the tournament, but Sander has. My son was paired against Courtney Penrose, and my son won. Congratulations, Galadon Tarth. Courtney Penrose, that's a good win. Courtney Penrose is a brave man. My lord, if you kill Stannis, you may get the Stormlands. That, that is a good point. You know, but we are trying to kill Renly right now. So, hmm... Can we pay people 7%? We're trying to kill Renly right now. Um, Stannis, though, has lots of children. So killing Stannis wouldn't really help. We're trying to kill Renly to get into a regency with a two-year-old. That's what we're aiming to do. Uh, Renlex, first stream. Thank you for joining, then. Hopefully you enjoy your time. My son was paired against Goodwin Trant. And Galadin was declared the winner. Look at my son going through the competition. He's only 21 years old. He's a young man. He's showing, though, that he is of great justice. B person, thank you for following. We're getting a lot of followers today. Thank you for following. Another Bron. So Merrin Trant and Sander Clegane were next to Joust. And Merrin was declared that Merrin Trant defeated Sander Clegane. I mean, I know Merrin Trant is a good fighter, and he wounded him. <laughs> How dare you, Mirren Trant? Did you get her pregnant? She is. Okay, Brienne's pregnant, so it's fine. You know, if something bad happens to him, Brienne is pregnant. Hopefully a strong, genius, massive child they have, I'm hoping. Mirren Trant defeats Sander Clegane. Yeah, I know. It's a, it's a surprise. You would definitely vote on Sander Clegane, but still. Uh, my son was against Mirren Trant, and Mirren was declared the winner. Ah, oh, you... Mirren Trent also took out Galadin Tarth? Are you kidding me? And the two last ones was my son and Mirren Trent. They got to the finals. Mirren Trent took out both my son and my son-in-law. Ah. There's never been a shortage of soldiers. It's weird to say that Sander Clegane is my son-in-law. That, uh, that seems an odd one. That does seem odd. The North is coming down with a lot of men. The North, though, is on the side of Stannis. Everyone's on the side of Stannis right now. Loras, what is wrong with you Tyrells and making the wrong decision? They're constantly going with the wrong side. Trant is OP. <laughs> Please nerf. He is pretty good. He's skilled fighter and a duelist. So he's actually got pretty good stats. Um, is he here? No, that's Renly. Where's the Trant family? Did they lose their lands? Ah, and they had a daughter. And look at that, Belina Tarth. She is a giant. She's ugly, but she's also strong. So she got all of her mother's traits. So we've got a second Tarth, everyone. My 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 followers, we got a second Tarth. We're gonna name this girl, okay? Guys, my small council, what should we name this little girl, this prodigy of the future? A second Brienne. What should we name this child? What does my small council think? You know what? I'm trying to think, possibly, that we could name them... Huh. My daughter... Roxanne? Roxanne? That's a name after me, X-Man. Um, Man. 
See, Army Chow Mein, you did, you did, uh, you did donate. So I'm going to name her after you, Army Chow Mein. But obviously your name is not particularly girlish. So, so it, it wouldn't really work. You can't call her Chow Mein. That'll just make her sound delicious. Um, but I'm thinking maybe your name's Army Chow Mein. So how about we call her Amy? Chow Mein, does that sound good to you? Or Chow Mein, do you have a different idea? Cow. We're not calling her Cow. <laughs> um, you want to call her X-Man? We're not calling her X-Man, Chow Mein. <laughs> Has to be a girl's name. For now, unless you give me a different name, I'm going to call her Amy. Amy Tark. Bubbles Tark. <laughs> Cow Mein. We're not calling her Cow Mein. We're not calling her Cow Mein, Council. If you don't get your act together, you need to... Sometimes we need to do some actual role-playing, not just cows. No, Bubbles Tark. Tug. I think uh, you're thinking of Targaryens there. Shireen. Why is, Shire why is everyone... I saw Shireen pop up a few times. Why is everyone like Shireen? Amanda's what Amanda is. Okay, we're calling her Amy there. <laughs> I'm not calling her Cow Mane. That's the one thing I will stress. But yes, we're going to call her Amy after Army. There we go. Amy Tough. The employee of Lord Stefan. Okay, perfect. The council demands naming rights to your granddaughters in the court. <laughs> Could you imagine that, like, in real life, if a council demanded our main? A main? Amanda? Amanda. Ooh, that would have been a good one, actually. Could you imagine, though, like, if a council, like, went to war for naming rights of the kids? That would be hilarious. But this guy wants to come work for us. He's uh, a good man of leader of men, but we have lots of people like that. We have lots of people like that. We don't need them. Um, I was going to look for Trance, because he did win that tournament. So maybe we could bring him in. Okay, it's Gallows Grey. That's it. Okay, they are in Gallows Grey. So that's where they are. See, do, do it. See, do it. Thank you for following. Thank you for joining us. Hopefully, I'll see you for many times to come. Remember, if you comment more, I will see you guys' names a lot more, and I get to recognize your names in the future. Captain Weeb, Stannis is the true king. Well, I think we all know who Captain Weeb is supporting right now. Thank you so much again, as usual, Captain Weeb. You're always a generous supporter of the council. Thank you so much. But Beric Trant, can we take his son? I guess his, son his son's not his heir. I could invite him to court. No, he wouldn't come to court. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Take Trant's lands. Death to the Weebs. Death to... <laughs> Crazy, yeah, what's wrong with the Weebs? Peasant revolt has been declared. 76% uh, now against uh, Viserys' rebellion. Though, of course, Viserys right now is actually in jail. Oh, poor Viserys. Where's he now? He's still in the Frey lands. During his visit to my court, the Justice of the Stormlands, Lord Aemon of Cape Wrath, has been convincing me what a great ruler um, Renly is. Long live Viserys the Mad King. Well, I mean, he's not... He's not the Mad King yet. At the moment, he's kind of the Mad Prince, isn't he? Yeah. I, you couldn't even call him the Beggar King because he never really went to Essos. I guess they called him the Beggar King. Yeah, so I guess you could call him the Mad King in some ways. Lord Leo the Quarreler has declared war for Golden Tooth Independence. So, Stannis defeated the rebels. Viserys has been captured. And... Oh. The Tyrells have been left to their own devices. Okay. Keep your Amy away from Trant as well. See, that's a TV show thing. I don't think in the books there was ever any suggestion that he was like that in the book. So th this mod is usually based upon the book. So he should be fine. I think they just executed the Valyrian girl. So there we go. She's been executed. Do me us. Thank you for following. And he's the last Valyrian left, possibly. Yes. If he dies, he's the last Valyrian left. Not only are the Targaryens in trouble, but also the Valerians are in trouble. How about the Celtigers? Okay, matrilineal marriage. There's only three living members. Wow. The Westerosi Valerians are in very big trouble. <laughs> Brothers of the Council will support you, great Lord NG. But how he pays us, he breaks a promise to one of his vassals and gives the hand of his daughter to a filthy Clegane. <laughs> Louis, are you still upset about that? I mean... You have her in heart. Oh, and... Okay, so, the Valyrians... This last Valyrian, Lord Aegir Valyrian, he said, you know what? This is it. 
Valerians will die with the Targaryens. And he's declared another war for Viserys. But who has joined? So, I know this is for the independents. Okay. So we're in support of Stannis. So are actually Dawn. They're supporting Stannis right now against these rebels who didn't like the consequences of their rebellion. But what about the Valyrians? The North. <gasps> Benjamin Stark has joined to put Viserys on the Iron Throne. This is a surprise. Why would Benjamin do such a thing? It, there's no way he's going to win. The Valerians have no men. They're going to be attacked. They're going to be sieged down. And it's all over. Why would they do... And st what's happened to Stannis? Stannis is scurvy. Oh, no. The Stannis is scurvy. Army Charmaine, your council has grown in discontent. I... The, Army Charmaine, they're always in discontent. I mean, when are they not? Stannis is a cucumber, apparently. Um, the regent, though, funny enough, is the Celtiga girl. So that's an odd one. Huh. This is very odd. Okay. But the Arryns and the Lannisters are basically underneath Stannis right now. The Tullys and the Tyrells are staying out of the wars, it looks like. Yeah, and actually, who has Viserys? Okay, it's in a state of war. Do I support? Renly is supporting the throne. We could go with the rebels' causes just. Did anyone else join it? So Smallwood. So only Smallwood. That, that's it. Only Smallwood has joined. So that's not particularly good there. Okay, guys. Do I support the throne with Renly, my liege lord? If we do support the throne, we're likely to win. We're in a good position. But does my small council think we should join the rebels? Should we try and help the North and help the Valyrians? Should we try? Or is it a fool's... A fool's aim? Stannis currently has 45,000 men. It would seem stupid. <laughs> it would seem silly to go and help the rebels. Throne in your liege. Yeah, I think we... Guys, I think we have to support Renly. NG, please don't become Brienne. It would be weird. <laughs> Stannis. Re Why is everyone saying rebels? Because if I join the rebels, we're going to die. Just support. The Valyrians are suicidal. Honorable but stupid. Yeah. Support the throne. Thank you, my small council. I needed your vast intelligence and support for this concern. Just in case, you know. Join rebels for the bands. Well, we can join in the future. There's definitely rebellions we can join in the future. And we will, maybe. But we need to see, obviously, if... Viserys is in a safe place. No, he's still in jail. He's still with the phrase. <laughs> he's still in jail with the phrase. Um, it seems that this girl has been investigating rumors of a plot. How's my plot? 38%. 7%. That's it. Probably not going to be able to kill Renly Baratheon at the moment. Which is a shame. Captain Weeb, thank you so much. The council's discontent. We demand Calmain. Calmain. <laughs> I, I can't change the name, I don't think. The names can't be changed now. But I'd say you can't call a girl Calmain. You can call her Amy after Army. It just makes more sense. I'm not destroying immersion for craziness, council. NG stokes the fires of rebellion. And now the Lannisters are out of it. Okay. Cow woman. That still doesn't... Crazy CEO, that still does not fit. That still does not fit. I decide to institute the Justice Committee Law. Hmm. Justice Committee Law. Interesting. I approve. I approve. Duke Holiday, thank you so much for following our merry band of men. We started as one, but now we're... Fa hundreds. Hundreds now, apparently. Well, over a thousand, I guess, but still. Should have spelled it Amy. That would have been good yeah, with the I, I guess. Spell it weird like Martin does. That would have made more sense. You're right. But I did ask my small council and no one suggested it. I had to just go with my heart. And John Aaron has died. And so his son, Ronald II Aaron, has taken over. He's a quick lad. Who would have thought he was Lisa Tully's son? He's quick. There's no way he's Lisa Tully's son. <laughs> No way. How does that happen? What was that, the breaker? Look at that. 
King Stannis, the Breaker of Golden Tooth. Now that's a that's a that's a good name. That's a good name. You dare go against Cow Mate? Are you talking to me, X Man? Or are you talking to the rest of the council? Nirko Kill, thank you so much for following as well. This has been constant tonight so far. We've just been getting followings constantly all of today. Thank you. And so far, I've been very lucky. No fireworks. Good to see. Luckily, there's been no fireworks so far. Okay, you want to come join me? You're good to play. We don't need people. We don't need people. We got great people. NGL, I'll only be loyal to you if you give me a fief. What do you say? Jamie, then. But you're. James, you're, you're the nice guy. You're the nice guy. Amy times Mirren. You want Amy to marry Mirren Trant? I mean, he'll be quite old by then. But, I, I mean, it probably would be interesting. I wish my daughter was called Calmaine. I'm not sure anyone wishes that. Calmaine was swept away immediately after birth. What Selwyn thinks is Amy is a fake daughter. <laughs> okay, we can go with that. We can go with that army, Calmaine. I'll, I'll, we'll consider that canon. She was taken away for her own good. Um, Golden Tooth is still fighting. They're going to lose. How about the rebellion for Viserys? 3% right now. Yeah, only for him. The North could be marching down right now. Captain Weeb, if you played his GT, you could. <laughs> if we played his GT, even if we played his GT, calling her Cow Main, I still probably not. I would go with Cao Cao, you know, Cao. Sa but not Sao Main. It's just, just too much. Uh, Lady Sarah of the North has declared Lady Sarah's claim on the North. Really? So this Royce girl has decided to push her claim for the North. Her husband is a Hardin, and it's the normal. So the Hardins could inherit the North. She has 5,000 men. Now her son is a Corbury. Her first son is a Corbury. Yeah, then a Corbury as well. Okay, so actually Corbury's could inherit the North. What is going on? So, Royce, the mother was a Stark. So, through Jocelyn Stark. That's, uh, interesting. Okay, we've also got a betrothal. Um, the Aaron girl to Galadin Tarth. We'll get that done. What an odd rebellion. But how many men does he have right now? He's still got 13,000 men. He should be able to deal with that. But if his men have gone down south... That could be a bit of a tr that could be a bit of trouble. That could be a bit of a problem for him. We got the girl come to my court. Um, everyone's happy. Let's hope she can be a good daughter to us. Be a good daughter, okay? Good daughter-in-law. And the golden tooth has been defeated. And what is this? Hold a tawny. We could hold a tawny. Uh, the golden tooth has been beheaded. Stannis is not taking any shit right now. He's beheaded him. His son has inherited Lord Leo. He has a brother, but he's a bastard. With a, a swift girl, apparently. But Stannis wasn't taking anything there. Man, between that chin and moustache. <laughs> look at our son. Look, look how majestic he looks. He is an heir we can be proud of, you know. He's zealous. He's authoritative. He's proud. He's a family man. But look at that hair and beard. It's so well trimmed. It's so well trimmed. And Selwyn can be proud of him. We're 53 now. Not sure how we're going to last. We could last quite a while, though. Does Hedonist lower the health? No, it does not. That's good to see. But Brienne, how are you, Brienne? You're pregnant? You're not pregnant? Have another baby, you know, Brienne. Have another one. Have as many babies as possible. The Royce girl has already been defeated. She's already been defeated. She's already out. Benjin decided to just take care of her straight away. The Valerians are losing, as usual. Um, the Leopard's son has is one years old, but they've joined his side due to the fact he executed their father, I would guess. And Little Tyrus slave raid on Rainwood. But we are supporting Stannis, of course. Marry your son to Renly's daughter. We could do that. But my son is already married to an Aaron girl. We get 9% there, and then 7, give us 16%. It's not going to be enough to kill Renly. I don't think we're going to be able to kill Renly, are we? What about his children? How many children? He has another daughter. His wife, actually, yeah, she's a, she's a formidable fighter. Nymeria Sand. Does she start as a formidable fighter? I'm pretty sure she does not, but Dala is quick. 
Because that, that's pretty good. I didn't think she started as formidable fighter. Ariana is banging over and right. Yep, I think she is. Yes, she is. And they've had four children. Three daughters and one son. Oh, and the son is inbred, of course. <laughs> the son is inbred. Um, they defeated the Valerians. And Golden Tooth has been taken. And the Valerians have lost their lands as well. The North has declared Northern independence. So the North has declared independence. We have possibly a king of the North coming. I say we cancel the plot on Renly's life. Yeah, probably a good idea. We'll cancel it for now. I lodge with Rainwood. What kind of bread is the sun in? Bread? What? Chris, what, what are you talking Okay, I'm going to ignore the chat right there. Don't know what the hell that's about. But the North has declared independence. And he's declared... Oh, look at this. I'm having, I'm having flashbacks. Well, when I say flashbacks, I mean it reminds me of, obviously, current history. King Benjamin Stark of the North. The King in the North. There we go. So Benjamin has declared himself the King. He has a, a bastard son, of course, uh, Jon Snow. Wink, wink, wink. Uh, not particularly great, actually, but his heir would be Ellard Stark. So, the Riverlands have joined him this time. They're saying, Stannis, you're going too far. You can't just keep taking things from people willy-nilly. The, 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 the Starks put you on the Iron Throne. When they put your brother on the Iron Throne, the Baratheons would not be here if it was not for the Starks. How dare you try and do this? And so Hosta Tully is fighting with the Starks. There's 25,000 men. That's a lot of men. That's a lot of men. And Ed Tully is a duelist, apparently. Married to Asher Greyjoy. They have actually some children as well. And a daughter. So that's 25,000 men with 12. So that's about 32,000 men. And then we've got Stannis with his 19. But he has some support as well. You've got the Stormlands. You've got Dawn. And a few other little lords. But only Dawn and actually the Stormlands. Captain Weeb. Maybe name the next kid either Mare or Richard. If possible that is. Okay. I will keep that in mind. Captain Weeb. Mare or Richard. Thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. You guys make these streams and obviously the YouTube channel possible. Really appreciate that. It allows me to spend more time doing these types of things. Hadu not gay. Hadu not gay. Uh, thank you for following. Interesting name. <laughs> but yes, if I do not remember though, uh, Captain Wee, please remind me because I need to... We don't know how far away it's going to be till we have kids. So he's got a few supporters there. 19,000. The Stormlands, 17. And Dawn's 13. That This could be a good battle, actually. If they can get their men to the King's... Uh, the King the Crown Lands very quickly, they could do quite well. Actually, I just came back. What is Trident doing? The Trident and the North are rebelling against Stannis in an independence war. Benjen tried to support Viserys, but Stannis won. And so he tried to punish them harshly because he's a man that does that sort of thing. And they would not stand for it. So they've rebelled against him. The Lannisters are staying out of it. So are the Arryns. And so are the Tyrells. So many people aren't getting involved. But let's see what happens. Can they come out on top? We're supporting Renly, apparently. Plot to kill Stannis will be easier. I would imagine, yeah. Actually not. No, a lot of people don't want to kill him. Plus, I guess maybe he... No, he's not even got good intrigue, has he? So he wouldn't actually... You'd think it'd be easier to kill, but apparently not. Him and Renly. Not easy men to kill right now. How about if we investigate? Nope. Ah. Difficult, difficult times. But can the North come out on top or will be Benjen suffer? Does the Targaryen live? Well, we better check, shouldn't we? Let's see if Viserys is still alive. And he is. Viserys is still alive. Apparently the phrase, I guess, let him go. And he's gone off to Pirate Lands. Nope, he's gone up to Dagger Lakes. <laughs> okay, so there's a pirate here in Dagger Lake. Uh, Westerosi Valyrian, Azantes, and uh, 
yeah, Viserys is currently with him right now. He's crazy. His wife's not pregnant, but he's still alive. And uh, yeah, he's he's joined a pirate crew to survive, apparently. Yaha, yes. A bottle of rum, Viserys. The pirate king, Viserys. That'd be amazing. I would love to see Viserys go off and become a pirate king. Uh, Brandon Tully at a trial? <gasps> no, status! So, my lord, news from King's Landing. A trial by combat. Brandon Tully. So he was on the King's Guard, wasn't he? If I remember correctly. And so Stannis didn't trust him and decided to give him a trial for his brother's crimes. And he asked for a trial by combat. And he faced Brandon Blackfish against Barristan Selmy. Now that, that would be a good fight. Blackfish versus Selmy would have been a, it would have been a fight of the century. Ah. But sadly, you know, against almost anyone else, the Blackfish would have had a good chance. But against Barristan, I would say you probably go, would go with Barristan. It, it's a shame. 62, he's 57, but Barristan still got it. Stannis, you evil man. How could you do this? It's the Blackfish. It's the Blackfish. Um, Amos was beheaded. So he's now dead. Uh, Stannis is currently losing right now. And what is this? Tywin wants to take advantage. He's decided to declare Westlander du jour war over Sarsfield, which is kind of silly because it should be his anyway, but that's the mega wall system for you sometimes. So this could be bad for Jamie. If he just had Blackfish killed, what will he do with Jamie? Uh-oh. We could be facing some difficult times. Stannis could be killing off his allies. Okay, just the North and the Trident still. Um, the Reach and the Vale are still out of it. Stannis is no different from the Mad King. And this doesn't seem different, to be honest. He is kind of uh, giving them trials and stuff, at least, that are fair. He's not using fire. I would say it's slightly different. Um, what's this? You want me to do a favor, Morrigan? I'm going to decline. Actually, we could try and get this. I could try and get Galemont. That's a good point. How about we try and do that? Let's try and get a Fabricate Claims on Galemont. Um, Justice is not really doing a good job, but then again, he's the best that we have, apparently. Improved defenses here. And let's see, we got... Where's the Riverlands? Where are the soldiers? I can't see the enemy. Oh, here we go. 14,000 men marching down. We've got 12,000 men here. 14,000 Iron Throne men there. So there we go. That's a pretty even fight. Iron Throne versus the Tullys. A young artist is working on a divine icon of the crone. An aspect of the seven representing wisdom. Uh, I think, yeah, we're kind... Uh, we're erudite. Even if we are a bit of a hedonist, you know, we still understand it's good. We have the money. Being at sea for a long time has made me feel ill. I've got scurvy. Why? Stan, uh, Renly, why did you send me off to sea? He's trying to kill me, isn't he? But the Iron Throne's armies beat the Tullys back. This is not a good start then. Oh. So. By King Stannis. So Stannis asked the Septon to excommunicate Loris Tyrell, and the High Septon has done just that. Oh dear. We're still losing though against the North right now. Death to Joffrey. I mean, Stannis apparently. <laughs> Renly knows my plot, yes. And wow. Stannis also asked the High Septon to excommunicate the Aaron. So all the people that are staying out of the wars, Stannis has got the High Septon to excommunicate them See, sometimes the AI just plays really nicely. This is exactly what I would do <laughs> if I was playing. During his visit to my court, the Justice got me to understand he was a good ruler. I'm well, Poetic Prior. Oh, Poetic Prior. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for joining us once again. You've got some brewed bourbon. Ooh, as well as vodka. Good to hear. Uh, door hinge. I've lost scurvy. Good to see. We've lost scurvy. Has what? Now he's got Renly excommunicated. What? Is he getting everyone excommunicated? Stannis, what are you doing? Stannis, calm down. What are you doing? You're excommunicating every single Lord Paramount. What is going on? 
Why? <laughs> Why is he doing this? Did he get you excommunicated? No. No. What about Dawn? No. Okay, but he seems to be going. Everyone's been excommunicated right now. Hoster Tully is now known as the eloquent. Good, Mr. Hoster. He's the eloquent. El Laugh my ass off. Stannis has the lunatic trait even. Yeah. I guess he kind of is the Mad King right now. We've got the North versus him. 15,000 men. 2,000 over here. 3,000 over here. Dawn is up here with 10,000 men. Where is the North, though? Where is the North's men? 600 here. Where am I currently? Haraway's Town. I'm in Haraway's Town. Okay. Interesting. To release the princess, Jocelyn. Was he? Did he have a jailer's own daughter? What is this? He did. What? Severely injured, one-eyed. What have you been doing? Stannis, what have you been doing to your children? Stannis has actually gone crazy. Okay, new justice here. We have no good justices. Trant will have to do for now because we need someone there. NG stream. Better than the touch of a woman. <laughs> I mean, if that's true, you know. Okay, fine. Um, <laughs> your choice. I, I, can't, I can't know. I'm, I'm on this side of the stream. I don't know about that. Ares did nothing wrong compared to Stannis. And my son had a daughter. Patrice Tarp. Now, Captain Weeb, you did say you wanted me to name the next child something in particular, didn't you? Uh, what was the name of the girl? I can't remember the name of the girl, uh, Captain Weeb. Torture his own children? Just like the show. Poor, poor Shireen. Lol, LG. Missed what I... Yeah, I did miss it. Talia Tarp? <laughs> no, we're not good. Cow. Bubbles. We're not call her after my dog. Captain Weeb. What was it? Captain Weeb said a name, and I, I can't remember the name. It wasn't Garth. Mer Mera? That sounds like it was probably it. I think it was Marie? You're saying Mara, and you're saying Marie. Those are two different names. And Captain Weeb has not spoken, so either he's fallen behind the stream, or he's gotten up to go somewhere else. I feel like it was Maria. Or maybe the E. I think maybe it was that, possibly. Um... I think it was that. I'm waiting for Captain Weeb to say something. Watch the stream back and you'll see. I can't go back. Oh yeah, Roxanne. Or... No, it wasn't Roxanne. It was a boy name and a girl name. But I think it was Marie. And question mark. Rella? No, it wasn't Rella. I think it was this. But Mr. Cap Captain Weeb, where are you? If you don't answer, I'm going to have to click OK. OK. OK, Marie... He misspells. Okay, there we go. It was supposed to be Marie. There we go. Perfect. Yes, it was. Okay, perfect. So we got Marie. Here you go, Captain Weeb. Marie, my granddaughter. Maria Tarp. Good for her. And there we go. So the war continues. 12% right now. Can they do it? Can the North gain independence from this crazy, crazy Stannis? Or is it impossible? Okay, and now he's excommunicated Lord Tywin. He's just continuing his excommunications at the moment. The High Septon really likes Stannis, I <laughs> I, I guess. Um, but yes, he really likes him. And granted the request. What was that? Lord Ty Yeah, we already saw that. Tywin, yeah, we saw that. It already did that. Basically two things just saying the same thing. But with Tywin attacking him as well, it's kind of weakening Stannis, I think. So at minus 21%. Which seems odd, because I haven't seen us really lose a battle yet. Why are we losing? I guess they captured this. 15,000 men. There was 10,000 over here somewhere. Yeah, 10,000 Northmen. They're going to go attack them in uh, River Run. But, okay, it's 37% now. 32% to us. Jamie was taken off the King's Guard. And Jamie is dead. Guys, Jamie, because his father's betrayed Stannis, was slain by Balon Swan. So Jamie took on Balon Swan in a trial by combat, it looks like, and he was killed. King Stannis, I hear you're talking about me, Lord Tarth. Care to tour the wall with me? Uh, I, I'm okay. 
Uh, we don't need to go to the wall. We don't need to go to the wall. You, you can just, just you're, you're crazy these days. Thank you so much, King Stannis. <laughs> I mean, I guess we are supporting you right now, but thank you so much for your donation. Always appreciated. It does mean a lot and it does make a difference. Every, every single one. So thank you so much. Uh, my lord, news from King's Landing. You have a trial by combat. Jamie is dead. So there we go. King's Guard are getting killed left and right right now. Sea Guard, what are you doing? You decided to get out the war? So Sea Guard has betrayed the Tullys. Same. Oh no. <gasps> They're actually helping Stannis. So the Vances are helping Stannis. They've betrayed them completely. Oh my. NG back for another great stream. Thank you, Go Get a Black. Thank you so much for joining us. We had in command. I'm being sent to lead men. Oh, and Tywin. Ah, oh, Tywin died of depression. Guys, Tywin died of depression. <laughs> His son was killed, and so he couldn't go on. It was too much for him. And so now Tyrion has taken over as Lord Paramount. He has a son, Lord Reginald, um, Army Chowmain. Next son or daughter named Patchface. Yes, with the question mark. Well, you, I, I'm going to say Army Chowmain. You do realize Patchface is not a name. It's a, a jester name. It, I don't think it's actually his real name. It's like, um, it, it's one of those like joke names, like a nickname, I guess. But yes, um, Cersei is obviously with Tully right now. But poor Tywin, he really loved, he really loved Jamie, didn't he? It's a given name, yeah. <laughs> I know Chow Mein, I assume that. I mean, I could call her Brackets. I'll call them Brackets Patchface, okay? There you go, I have a nickname, Patchface. That's better. I serve a higher purpose. Lord Alessander is going to go work for Renly. We need a new general, Brienne. We'll have to do then. Brienne is now our new master at arms. Train the troops, my daughter. You're a good daughter. She's not pregnant, though. My son, is your wife pregnant again? She oh, no, she's a homosexual? How did this happen, my son? Galadon, did you turn her... And now Tyrion has been excommunicated, continuing the Stannis tradition of excommunications, apparently. That's just how it goes. We're at 31%. 14,000 men up north. Benjamin, Benjamin, you're going to get everyone killed. Jon Snow will have to take over. <laughs> ha it's funny as well. This is actually the similar time as the War of the Five Kings. Because look, he's 17. This is actually, like, about the same time. That's actually really weird. Huh. Okay, maybe you don't want to become Lord Paramount of the Stormlands. You'll just get excommunicated. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, he even excommunicated Renly, which is kind of funny. Actually, it's easy to kill him now because he's excommunicated, guys. <gasps> there we go. Let's get him. Let's get Renly. 